Hi there, I'm Thomas Michaud from StarlandGuitar.com. Today I want to talk to you about sore fingers. Now the reason this is an important subject is because for many beginners, when they start practicing regularly, like you should, your fingers get sore. This is particularly an issue on the steel string acoustic guitar. Not so much on the nylon string guitar and not so much on the electric guitar because of the thin strings on the electric guitar. And just to be clear, I'm talking about the fingers of the left hand. The left hand, as they press down into the strings, the metal strings cut into the fingers and they make your fingers sore. Now, there's several things you can do about this. One is to put lighter strings on your guitar. I would recommend starting off by putting extra light acoustic guitar strings on your acoustic guitar. They're thinner, but they still sound good. Another option is to put electric guitar strings on. They don't sound as good, but you can put thinner strings on that way. And of course, you can always build up to thicker strings. Another possibility is a type of string called silk and steel. This string is a hybrid type string in between a steel string and a nylon string, and it goes on the acoustic guitar. It has a softer sound and a softer feel. Some people don't like the sound, and it might not be the overall sound solution for you, but a good stepping stone to get to the thicker strings on the acoustic guitar. Another possibility is to adjust the action of your guitar. What I mean by that is you're going to adjust the strings so they're closer to the fret of the guitar, they're closer to the neck of the guitar, which makes it easier to play. Now, there are several steps in adjusting the action of a guitar. It involves making the nut of the guitar lower, the bridge of the guitar lower, and the neck just the right angle. And then finally, last possibility is to file down the frets so they're more even. The trick is to get the strings as low as possible without buzzing anywhere up and down the neck. You want to be able to press the note here and have it sound nice and clear, not hit one of the frets up here. This is tricky, and I recommend getting a competent guitar repairman to do the work. If you're mechanically inclined and have a reasonable tolerance for risk, you can learn how to do it. Check out videos on YouTube. There are some good videos I've seen on there. there the risk is if you file the nut too low or the bridge, you're going to have to go out and get a new one. And you can actually over tighten that metal truss rod in the neck of the guitar to the point you even break your neck. Last thing to do is to file the frets. That is a really tricky one and I wouldn't even try that. Last resort is to play your guitar with sore fingers until they get tough. Now they will actually get tough. It usually takes about three or four weeks and some people can just work through it. The trick is to find that place where if it's holding you back from practicing, do what you need to do to get easier strings on the guitar. If you can keep practicing and wait till they get tough, then go for it. Nothing wrong with that. And once you get calluses on your fingers, or thicker skin rather, you really won't have to worry about that much anymore in the future as long as you keep playing. If you stop playing for a while, you kind of have to go through that again. So that's it. I hope this has been some help for you. Mostly I want you to keep practicing and that will keep you on the road to getting better and better as a guitarist and having more fun. I'm Thomas Michaud from StarlineGuitar.com. Check out my other videos on my website at StarlineGuitar.com. There are plenty of free videos and tips for you to learn with. Thanks. See you later.